Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday news show. As always, we've got a packed show for you today, including the giveaway for the 9B slash 8C counter. Oh, it's exciting. Mm. Very exciting. Yeah, we've got some good uh, answers to that one, so excited to reveal it. Wow, it's about time as well. I thought you were going to do it last week. Yeah, I totally forgot. My bad. Ah. Apologies. Uh, okay, so first up, we've got some exciting news from Patagonia. German all-round athlete Fabien Bull has made Alpine history by becoming the first person to paraglide off the top of Serratore in Patagonia after having climbed it by his own means, as reported by Planet Mountain. Fabien, who recently made the first free ascent of the AC Plus route Deja in Rattigon, Switzerland, showed his all-round climbing skills by creating history in Patagonia. Bull had to wait out bad weather before reopening the West Face Rhiney route for the first time of the season, with difficulties including a layer of 25 centimeter rhyme ice on the headwall. Fabian made the ascent with French alpinist Raffaella Haug and Laura Typhon Taylor before making the sunrise descent the next day. So he is hot, hot to trot at the moment. Mm. This guy can't stay out of the news. He's like doing stuff and then doing more stuff. And then he did this to top it all off. Seems like, because we had a video of him, right? Mm -hmm. Of the Legends thing. Yep. How did he get from your video to Patagonia so quickly? Well, we shot our video last year. Right, right. And right, then he's yeah. in Patagonia it's now. Different times. This is news. Yeah. That was like a big production. I'm with you, I'm with you. Uh, whereas, uh, and then there was another video from mm. by Petzl. We're not worried about that. It's very good. I no, it is very good. It is very good. It is a very good, very good video. Um, but yeah, so he's, he's on fire. I mean, like, if you hadn't heard about him before, you might well have heard about him <laughs> now. Uh, 9B <laughs> climbing news now, and Will Bosey has done his hardest ever climb. Wow. British climber, 21-year-old Will Bosi has made the fourth ascent of Capella 9B in Siriana, Spain. The route has 15 metres of hard climbing with two distinct bouldery cruxes. Will spent three sessions on the route but almost completed it earlier, falling off the last hard move. Will is quickly becoming one of the very best. He competes for Great Britain, has made podiums on the IFSC circuit, and he was also the youngest person in the UK to climb 9A. So huge congratulations to Will Bosey. He's been getting here for a while, hasn't he? Like I remember when he did Hubble in the UK and everyone mm -hmm. was like, whoa, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. He's been IFSC, IFC, IFSC, Jesus, pro, um, podiums. So he's getting stronger and stronger and stronger. He might not qualify for the Olympics. He's got one more chance. Yeah. Uh, if he doesn't though, I reckon we're gonna see a heck of a lot more 9Bs from that man if he's just focusing on outdoor climbing. I've got, you, you often do quite a good impression of Will Bosey. Can you just give us a little sneak teaser? <clears throat> sneak teaser? And the youngest person in England to climb 9E. I mean, it's pretty good. It was good, wasn't it? Although yeah. I said England, it should have been like, I'm the youngest person in the UK to climb 9E. It's true. It's good, the Scottish. Yeah, he's not, he's definitely not English. No, he's definitely not English, no. Fuck, rude. Anyway, uh, more high climbing in Spain now because uh, Mr. Seb Bois has been at it again and Mr. Cedric Lachat has been at it again. The Seine season continues in Spain with conditions looking good for some of the world's best. Swiss climber Cedric Lachat and French climber Seb Bois have both made impressive ascents of the 9A plus route Joe Mama. This has been a popular route of late with recent ascensionists including Belgian Anak Verhoeven and American Sean Bailey. Cedric's main target for the winter is Mami Chula 9B, which is the link between Papi Chulo 9A+, and Pashamama 9A+, two routes he has already climbed. With this ascent of Joe Mama, he adds to his extensive list of 9A+, routes. As for Seb, he continues to go from strength to strength and has recently climbed another 9A+, in Spain, Cataxa in Santa Linea. In the past 12 months, Seb has now done 14 routes from 9A to 9B+, a list only bettered by Adam Ondra. So Sebois uh, and Cedric Lachat looking very strong. And what's interesting about that is that um, uh, Armand Johan. Frère Jacques Grepo, Paul Naki de Santorette, woo! Really vertical, our French show, is out there documenting Cedric's uh, try on Mamichula 9B. Um, so hopefully it goes down pretty soon. Yeah, and so he then, sends it in front of him. Yeah, yeah hopefully it goes down <laughs> pretty soon and Johan is there to capture it on his camera. And then we'll have the video. Ha! Uh, now one of the... <laughs> Now, one of the most iconic and, frankly, notorious boulders in the world has seen a repeat. 
Camille Coudier has climbed the Big Island 8C in Fontainebleau, France. He managed to climb it in just six sessions. Camille has made incredible progress in climbing. He's now 26, but only started climbing at 18 and sent his first 8A just eight months later. 8A.NU interviewed him and it seems like he's got some big future plans, including the possible 9A boulder, no capote only. Let's see what happens. Is that the boulder that's not really a 9A boulder, but everybody says it's a 9A boulder, but we're not sure if it's a 9A boulder. No capote only. No capote yes, only. Yes, yes, that good is name. Yeah, it's good name. I like the name. name. Like, uh, it rings off the tongue. So Carry big, on, sorry. Big Island is like big, that big <laughs> slappy fridge huggy thing that you like Ooh, so much. Ooh, I love a fridge. Yeah. I love a fridge. But what's exciting is he's also apparently trying to work the sit start to that, which, you know, Jimmy Webb's oh, yeah, major product. Oh yeah, plus forward slash 9A Could be 9A. Slash, who knows? Who knows? Um, but frankly, I mean, he's just smashing that, so he could be the first to send that, which would be awesome. Camille Couder. I haven't heard of him before. I haven't either. Uh, I'm jealous. 18 months after climbing, and he sends AA. No, eight months, sorry, eight months. And he goes from like 5B to AA, boulders. Wow. Bonkers, isn't it? But he's probably like some naturally gifted, talented guy. Yeah, I think the he's The kind like, of guy that you hate. I just hate them. <laughs> Why? Uh, just, it shouldn't be easy. Another guy that you hate uh, has been sending hard in, uh, in Switzerland. 8A.NU has reported that Czech climber Martin Stranich has climbed the 8C boulder Primitivo in Valle Bavona, southern Switzerland. The problem is the former world number two competition boulder is fifth 8C in the last 12 months, making this his best calendar year of all time. I just want to say that you probably don't hate him. Never met the man. I think you have. Have I? Yeah, a competition somewhere. Okay. Uh, Martin, I don't hate you. It was just a segue. It was, a good, it was quite a good segue. Yeah. But Martin Stranich, um, as always, looking strong. The second best climber in the Czech Republic, which is a tag that he'll probably, you know, go on to carry on having for mm -hmm. quite a long time because he is an amazing climber. But yet there is another half decent climber in Czech Republic. Who's What's that? his name again? Uh, oh. Don't know. No, no, no. no I uh, now, Chamonix news. Uh, Chamonix. And a new route has been put up on the Pelerin. A strong team consisting of John Bracey, Matt Helica, and Pete Whitaker have climbed a new line between the established routes of Beyond Good and Evil and One Step Beyond. They've named the route Beyond Reason and graded it around ED slash M6. The climbing conditions have been good in Chamonix recently, so hopefully there are some more first ascents to come. Now, this is obviously uh, kind of cool because you always think Chamonix is completely climbed out, so it's mm. nice to see a line. Apparently, John Bracey had been checking out that line for 20 years before oh, wow. he went up it. So 20 it's, years? Yeah, he, John, just so old, so good. <laughs> just so good, though. Um, but what I find super cool about this is this whole Pete Whitaker thing, right? Mm -hmm. This has been brewing for a while. So it all started off, remember that Rab thing where they went to Scotland, learned how to winter climb, yeah. and then Pete has been climbing a lot with Matt Helica to sort of get him ready for future product projects. Yeah. So I reckon what we're seeing here is the birth of Pete Whitaker as like a hardcore alpinist. So sure. who knows where he's going to go with that, but it's, it's pretty cool. Do you reckon Tom Rand Randall will be joining him? No. He's like, he sat there just like looking at the stats. Yeah, he's like, just like, Pete, you've got to like work on yeah. your, uh, your grip strength and stuff like but that. But kind of alpine climbing is the opposite, isn't it? Because like you're, you're hungry, you're tired, you're miserable, you're cold. It's like the opposite of all training or all like performance stuff you should do is the opposite of alpinism. Yeah. You just got to grit, grit it and bear it. Yeah, pretty yeah. much, yeah. Uh, okay, next up we've got uh, news from uh, America. Jonathan Segrist has made yet another first ascent of a 9A, this time in Mount Potosi, Nevada. The smoke wagon project was bolted by Andy Rayther, and now Jonathan is setting himself up for the direct start, which we think could be even harder. Stay tuned for the full film of this, which will be coming to Epic TV very soon. So just a quick uh, segue into a series that we're doing of uh, Jonathan Segrist, mm -hmm. uh, which is coming out on Epic TV this year, later on, probably in a couple of months. Okay. Uh, including this route and some other routes, but trad routes. He's, he's doing a bit of trad climbing in America as well. Seriously, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yep. Uh, so yeah, so stay tuned for that, which is cool. Which is cool. Cool. I'll tell you another thing, which is cool. What? The nine B counter. <gasps> So we've got a 9B for 9B counter. Yes. That's exciting. Yes. Uh, so it is. joining Hugo. Hugo. We've got Will Bosey. Hugo. Yes, Will. So Will Bosey, congratulations. You are on the counter. You're in the running for the competition. Best of luck, mate. Now we've got the giveaway. So we were giving away the old 
9B counter and the 8C counter. Mm -hmm. We put this on Instagram. We got you guys to comment on what you would, would do with the 9B counter. Yeah. Uh, we were all sat in the office. We picked the winners. Uh, basically, it was very scientific. It's whoever made us laugh the most, really. Yeah. Uh, so winning the 9B counter is not that Jim Parsons. For his handle alone? Uh, yeah, it's great. It's a great <laughs> handle, isn't it? What he wrote is on screen right now, so you can check that out. Jim, congratulations. You have won the 9B counter, my favourite counter. Yeah. And then the winner of the 8C counter is Alonso.atco, uh, who wanted to digitalise digitalize a 9B counter and then come to us uh, and have a barbecue. Now fly away to Chamonix from Scotland, from find your little cottage, knock on your door and self. All right, yeah, fine. Yeah, which he does that, bring the beers and let's do it. Alonso, we will be waiting Yeah, with tongs. Guys, you win uh, the counters, you also win the Seven Sisters Chalk and the Epic TV bottle. So congratulations, nice, nice one. Thank you for entering the competition. That's it. That's it. M -m 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 Media. Uh, first up, we've got Robbie Phillips. Robbie Phillips. He's a Scottish climber mm -hmm. from Scotland. Ooh. Uh, more precisely, Edinburgh. And on a little walk around town the other day in Edinburgh, this is not around here, he stumbled across a roof crack, roof crack climb under a bridge. Um, here's a little, little sneaky clip. The best thing I've ever found. <laughs> so Ed, as a, as a professional climber who has gone to numerous Mad locations, putting on first sense. Yeah. This Edinburgh Bridge is the maddest thing you've ever found. The fucking best thing I've ever <laughs> found, honestly. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Very cool. Uh, Robbie has now got a YouTube channel. He's going to be dropping videos every Monday, so please go and subscribe to his channel. Uh, Robbie, if you're watching, good job. Uh, he's doing a, a collab with a with a cameraman. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, nice one. That video is on the Epic TV website as well, oh, yes. on the hand-picked section. So just scroll down the page, you'll see hand-picked from the web. That's where we put all of the best videos that we can find from climbing from the internet onto one place so you guys can check it out, so that's there. Second video I want to talk about was the Blockfest video that dropped on Monday. Mm -hmm. 26 minutes, it was an epic, but it truly was like a, a proper competition experience. Yeah. With Alex Waterhouse, yeah. uh, he showed us around, check out this little teaser. Very different video, but it was nice to see that real in-depth process, what he was thinking about, how he approached it. It's nice to see Alex Waterhouse as well, because I've, I've kind of been not following him, but like he's been on the scene for a while now. Mm. Uh, he's still pretty young. Yeah. He must have been like 15 when he first came out. Ah, like, see, I remember seeing him, and I remember like him not looking necessarily like a climber, but just crushing everything. Mm. He's, he's awesome. And everyone was saying about his shorts, uh, how much they like those. Where so, are they from? I have no idea, no idea. Uh, just quickly, it's Colin O'Brien who's the cameraman that's doing stuff with Robbie Phillips. Okay. And they're, they're releasing every Monday. That's a, This is a double, uh, double big Robbie. up for your, for your Robbie. There you go. Uh, <laughs> um, what's next? Uh, shop stuff. Now, uh, what about comment of the week? 
Oh, oh, is that last? Oh, yeah, 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 shop, shop first. Go so on. shop stuff, we've, we've been restocked. Tanaya, Baldrini, Petzl is back in stock. So mm -hmm. if you've been missing those, do go and check that out. What I really wanted to talk about is the fact that we've got 30% off Black Diamond Ice Axes. There you go. Which is banging. So if you have been inspired by the Pete Whitaker new route, you want to start the, 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 the Sasfe stuff. Or the Sasfe Ice Climbing, yeah, yeah. that's true. 30% off, that is a heck of a bargain. BD tools are great, I've used them, I love them, so go check that out. Also, bouldering pads. Uh, it may not be necessarily bouldering season, although font, fully in season. Yeah. So if you want a font trip, bouldering pads uh, are up to like 30, maybe 40% off on wow. some of them on the website. There's a little section wow. down there, check that out. Uh, just quickly, in 30 seconds, tell people how they can get into ice climbing if they've never been. What'd you do? Uh, How'd you do it? <laughs> Uh, you you kind of need to maybe hire a guide. Like yeah. Go to an area where there's some ice, hire a guide with some ice. You can find indoor climbing walls where they do dry tooling, but mm -hmm. you have to look for them a bit. If you're up in Scotland, uh, there's a few places, or in London actually, they've got one of those ice cave things. Oh yeah, in Ellis so, Brigham. In Ellis Brigham, yeah. yeah uh, oh, is it Ellis Brigham? Yes, it is Ellis Brigham. There's one of those in Scotland. There are a few places, but if you come to anywhere in Europe, like Cogne, get a guide for the first yeah. time, or Chamonix, or somewhere like that. An ice climbing holiday. Oh, can't think of nothing worse. <laughs> Actually, awful. But if you want to do it, fair play to you. Okay, comment of the week. Yes. Comment of the week. I didn't do it. No, it was just but you. You solo. went solo. Yeah. yeah. I went Alex Honnold on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, right, your turn, go. Okay, mine is from The Never Slept. And he says, Will Bosey did two nine groups <coughs> in a few days ago, then space, keep up. Yeah. Now, the never slept. Uh, two things. Number one. You made him angry. I mean, not angry. I mean, there's a comment in it. But basically, yeah, sometimes we record this show usually on a Tuesday to fit in with the schedule of Wednesdays. Mm. So occasionally, and very selfishly, a uh, pro climber will send something on Wednesday morning or Tuesday afternoon, mm -hmm. having after we've recorded the show. Yeah. Sometimes we miss stuff if that happens. There's not a lot we can do about it. It's just kind of sod's law. But, mate, keep up. He didn't do two 9Bs. Yeah, One never slept. Be. Get it right. Come Get your facts straight. Never slept. Never slept. Unbelievable. Anyway, if I think I'm you need wrong, more sleep. Imagine, imagine need more sleep, then you might get your facts right. Imagine if he did do two nine Bs. So. Imagine if he slept. Who never slept. Mm. Mm, true. Sleep, mate. Oh! Uh, my, my one is from Ryan uh, Walowski. And he asks, a very intelligent, uh, no, a very curious question. Mm. What is the ratio of, of viewers in different countries around the world for your channel? Ryan, I'm glad you asked. Uh, in the last 365 days, we have had 29.5% of our viewers have come from the United States, 14.4% of our viewers come from the United Kingdom, Germany comes in third place with 8.5%, 8, 8 uh, Canada with 5.5%, Australia with 3.5%, France with 3.3%, .3%, Italy with 2.4% and then Spain with 2.4%. There's a whole bunch of other countries in the world, but I'm not going to go into them. Thank God. I was thinking how far you were going to go down that list. Yeah, that what do you think? List. What do you think? Okay, Are let you... me just pick a country. Uh, go on. South Korea. Uh, uh, South Korea, 0.4%. Wow. Not a lot of I mean, South that's, Koreans. That's, that's an audience. It's <laughs> true. That's you know. true. Um, but there you go. That was, I think, that's it. Yeah. Is that it? Is that, we're done? We're done, <laughs> done, done? done? Dun, 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 dun. I think we're done. Boom. Bye bye. Have Goodbye. a great weekend. And uh, we, we just quickly, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, I'm Nothing here. interesting. Nothing interesting. Okay, me neither. All right, bye. Bye.